Welcome once again to another show of No Fear Cooking with Magda, Blaine, and Hi. Babbitt. Survive the holidays? I hope so. Hey, listen, folks. Today we're going to give you one of our favorite, favorite meals. Actually, it's an appetizer. Cajun chicken bites. This is good winter, spring, summer, fall. It doesn't matter. It's a spectacular taste. And I'll tell you what makes it even better is that apricot Dijon dipping sauce that goes with it. We're going to show you how to make that also. Now, folks, it's been a lot of fun. Hope you survived the holidays. I want to give a shout out to my godson, Michael Gosh, up in uh, Pennsylvania. How you doing? Thanks for following us. Thanks for watching the videos. You know, you. this is not a hard thing. It's no fear cooking. And I'll tell you what. There's even a rumor I might be cutting some of the chicken for today. Magda, let's go to the kitchen. Let's have fun. Hello. Let's have some fun with the best Cajun chicken bites. You're going to love this recipe. We've been doing this for so long and we still love it for family and friends. And for this, I'm going to have two full chicken breasts. I'm going to show how we cut it. We are going to have some ground cayenne pepper, the red pepper is going to be here. We like to use fresh black pepper. We are having white pepper that we're going to use and salt. That's going to be for the chicken for the seasoning. For the sauce that we're going to dip the chicken is going to be Dijon mustard. It's a delicious mixing with the apricot preserve and we're going to cook this together. A little bit of oil for the frying for chicken, a little bit of butter. And I'm going to go right to cutting the chicken. As you see, chicken was uh, washed and I cut one and a half of the chicken breast and now I'm showing you the other half. Take it pieces and then put it on a plate then we are ready to have it cut bite sizes pieces. At uh, this point, I'm happy today. I'm going to give it to my dear husband to cut it. We've been doing this recipe for so long that he knows what he has to cut and how big the piece is. Once they are all nice and cut, they'll be ready to go back with all the good spices. If you like to buy chicken pieces that are already cut or maybe they are smaller, you find them in the store, go for it. If it's easier, always find something you like and that will be good. Again, I have my helper today. Usually he does all the aromatic vegetables for me. And this is one of his favor. So he'll cut the chicken today and then we'll get ready for the spices. The foil I put on, it's helping to clean faster. Anytime it's helping again to clean the kitchen faster instead of dredging to cook, Let's have a little bit of help and start with the cayenne pepper, two teaspoon. Two teaspoon of the ground black pepper. I love the white pepper. Two teaspoon of white pepper and one teaspoon of salt. Or if you prefer a little bit more, go for a tiny bit more. Then we're just going to mix well all this chicken, spices are on and leave it for about 30 minutes to get the taste in it and uh, 30 minutes later we are ready to fry the chicken in about two times. I don't like to crowd it so let's turn it around, put it to rest and it's ready.
We have the chicken resting for 30 minutes. If you do not have time for 30 minutes, don't worry, just go ahead and saute it at least five minutes, give it a rest. And then start in the pan with your apricot. And then with, it's not a lot, five tablespoon, six tablespoon of the Jean mustard. Looks a lot, but it's not. So just go ahead, put it on, mix it well, and leave it to give a little bubble on medium, not too high, just give a little bit patient. Remember, we have 30 minutes to wait for the chicken to get all the flavors in. So now we are mixing well and um, take it aside once it's mixed and a little bit bubbling and let it rest. And then we are starting with the chicken to fry it. We are ready to start the sauteing the chicken. Start with the pan warm a little bit and have the butter, have the oil on it and let it just a little bit melt and then we start sauteing the chicken in the skillet. Over medium high heat. Uh, add the chicken about half of the whole portion, unless you want to have a bigger pan, you put the whole thing. Uh, leave in one side, once you start it, about three minutes. Roll around the chicken so the pieces will get apart. It, they will not stick together, trust me, I did it many times, and they will come apart very, very easy. Wait for about three minutes, then turn it around with the spatula and leave it another two minutes. Literally in about five minutes, the whole chicken is going to be done on both sizes. As you see, it's getting very nice for one side. We'll move it around for the, the other side. And when you are ready, in a couple of five minutes, no longer than that, it's ready. You can tr taste it to see if you like it uh, for the doneness. More than five minutes, but I think that's good, five. Just transfer quick on a paper towel, not too long, and then put it in your favor dish you're going to serve the chicken. Um, it's going to be very good hot with the sauce that it's already uh, cooling down. And um, you can have a salad next to it, work the same time with it. Perfect meal for the evening or appetizer at any time and it's a fast appetizer or dinner to make for anybody in the family. Make it a little bit less hot next time if you think it's too spicy and that would be good for the younger kids also. Um, always, always let your young people, kids to help you are giving them a free present for life, being in the kitchen with you. Good family time.
Well, there you have it, friends. I tell you, no fear cooking, a simple, easy recipe, Cajun chicken bites, a perfect appetizer, a little white wine on a warm day, or have it during the winter also. It doesn't matter. These are great. They're easy to do. Magda, what a beautiful smell and aroma. Thank you for helping today. Glad to help out. We've been helping all this year, so... Let's not go spread that around now. I won't tell everybody. Manja, manja, friends. Of the Buna, till the next time. Have a wonderful day.